can't remember exactly when you said this line I'm about to repeat, but uh, there was there was one promo where you you referred to the Bible as a book of lies, and I'm no, willing to bet a pack of fairy tales, a pack, pack of, of fairy, fairy tales, t- yes. pack of fairy tales. I'm willing to bet that that was said after Jimmy Del Rey told you what he told you. And uh, yes, Bob Cottle did wince uh, along that line of you saying that. Uh, what? Uh, I mean, like, what was? Did, obviously, where you're at, you're talking about a, a pack of fairy tales. Uh, a bunch of questions on the Facebook page. So I, I apologize if I'm not mentioning exact names, but what was uh, live fan reaction in the area? I mean, we can see it on TV. They weren't happy with you at all. But uh, the, the people in the area, I mean, how, how bad was it, the heat, for you uh, basically taking a piss on the Bible? <laughs> well, okay, prob- in, in reality, look, you know, because look, back then, when you're new to the business, you think everything you do is great, right? Yeah. Like, like, a, like when a woman gives birth to an ugly fucking baby, you know, <laughs> all babies, all babies look like Winston Churchill, you know, so, but, but they think they're the cutest thing. And, you know, so I, I was oblivious, you know, I thought everything I was doing was great. And for the first little while that I was there, um, because I would have to make these long road trips and I'd have to drive home all night long when we were just doing TV. I'd have to drive home all night long and pull into the parking lot at work at 7.30 in the morning right before I had to change clothes and run into my shitty hot warehouse that I worked in. So I, I didn't have much interaction with them. But looking back at it, I, I would say at first, I didn't get heat for what I said because they didn't understand it. And I was just an asshole uh, as, as a uh, fan said to me once in the hallway or at a, uh, seven 11 or something, Hey, Mr. Horn, where'd you learn? Who learned you? What are you talking about? What? Mr. Horn, who learned you? What do you mean? Who learned you all them big words you use? So, um, I, I don't think they got it at first, but when I started to ramp it up, um, it, it got, you know, because, you know, I'm looking, I'm just reading reviews in the sheets every couple of weeks and I'm just thinking, okay, wh- where can I take it? How far can I go before I get in trouble? You know, and, uh, towards the end, uh, I would run into people in the motel, the hotels, motels, whatever the hell you, I guess those were motels or, or hotels with a W in front of it. Um, <laughs> like the super eight, but, uh, yeah, some of them, some of them took offense, and and a lady of questionable virtue with whom I spent an evening uh, said something to me along the lines of, "Now nah, you can't tell nobody, can't tell nobody uh, I was with you, Horn, because my mama, my mama go ape shit. My mama's a damn Pentecostal holiness. If she knew I was with you, she'd whip my ass. So, you know, I got that, but I." <laughs> And and then on the, I believe, the very last promo I ever cut there, which uh, according to the timeline where you're doing it might be four weeks from now, three weeks from now, um, <clears throat> at the very end of it, you can audibly hear some guy yell out, get that Satan shit out of here. You know? so, um, <laughs> and, and, and it's probably a good thing that Cornette fired me when he did, because I, I trust me, I don't remember what I had lined up anymore, but I I had at that point I had like a notebook filled out with just bullet points that I was going to insert <laughs> into whatever the storyline was. And that was pretty much the way I did things was I would spend the three weeks in between tapings just coming up, you know, coming up with just fucked up things to say, you know? seeing how far I could push the limits, seeing if I could get, get bleeped, which I only got bleeped one time or beeped, whatever you call it, censored one time audibly. And, uh, I had, I remember I had a, I was about to really probably do stuff that would have gotten me fired for, for doing that. But, uh, thankfully, <laughs> probably thankfully I, uh, Cornette had the good sense to fire me for something entirely different before I could, uh, 
completely fucked my career up going forward. <laughs>